Every October, the city's Italian-American community comes out to celebrate Columbus Day, a large, vibrant downtown parade, part of the festivities. And while that celebration won't change anytime soon, thanks to a vote taken last week by the Chicago Board of Education, the holiday will no longer be observed by Chicago public schools, replaced instead by Indigenous Peoples Day. It's a movement that has been gaining momentum nationwide over the last several years years. Italians were once second-class citizens and it will not be allowed to happen again. Speaking out against the decision, a coalition of Italian-American groups joined by several aldermen today denounced the move, demanding an immediate reversal based on what they say is a violation of the Illinois State Board of Education Code, which requires public hearings to be held before rescinding the holiday. We oppose this and we're fighting it through the legal process. I believe right off the bat it was an illegal act or wrongful act. But was it? The executive director at the Indian American Center of Chicago today showed us a letter on Illinois State Board of Education letterhead that states in part, a school district is free to name such holiday as it sees fit. Renaming this holiday does not constitute a violation of the school code. This is an anti-Italian. We're more than happy to celebrate the amazing contributions that Italian Americans have made to this country. What we don't want to celebrate is this idea of colonization and genocide that is represented by the figurehead of Columbus. Chicago Public Schools saying today that no statutes were broken. The Board of Education's vote to replace Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day was, in their words, taken appropriately. At CPS, I'm Michelle Gallardo, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.